is back again. And as I promised you guys in the last video, I finally have the Jordan 12 Royalty to show you guys this evening. Uh, royalty, Royalty Taxi. I've heard it been called a couple different names. So um, for those of you who didn't pick it up, even though it seems like it was very easy to get and you're on the fence about it, hopefully I can sway your mind one way or the other tonight and give you our opinion on this release. Uh, if it's your first time here, you know what to do. Hit that like button, turn on those notifications, and share the channel. And uh, drop some comments if you like the video and like what's going on here at the Dope Pair. We're trying to keep giving you guys something different each and every video. Uh, there's your box, Jordan 12 box, Air Jordan 12 retro, white, metallic, gold, black, and these retail for $1.90. We will get right into it. If you would, mama, there you have it. Jordan 12 Royalty. Uh, and from the pictures I saw, this shoe does look very, very similar to the taxis that were released in, I want to say, 2004. I could be wrong about that. I can't remember the date. But very, very similar to that. Uh, we'll show off this shoe first, and then we'll talk about a couple of the differences between this and the Taxi. Uh, you got that Jordan 12 bottom. You have your gray and black carbon fiber, uh, white 2-3 on the sole, black sole, and you have your white Jumpman right here. If we go to the booty end, we have your white pull tab with the black Jordan uh, in gold. It's the Jordan and his little um, saying right there, a white 2-3 with the black mud guard there. <clears throat> uh, it does come with a spare pair of white laces, and I will be definitely be putting the white laces in and getting rid of the black because I think the black looks kind of hideous in my opinion, so we will be going white on that. Uh, if we go to the side sole, that's black. You got your gold jump man right there. And then you have your, I guess your reptile skin on the leather, on the side sole, and white, pretty pretty decent leather around the whole shoe. You got black rope laces, your gold eyelets with the Jumpman. And if we go to the tongue, you have a gold Jumpman and a gold two, three. Uh, and then on the inside, you see that? There's your gold Jumpman with the black sock lining and soul so before we get into the uh differences what do you think of this mama that's mm, all right it's all right i i actually this is another one of those shoes that i remember back in the day when you're younger that i always wanted to get my hands on like i said i never got my hands on the taxis but i uh, always wanted a pair Jaden, your thoughts i just kind of like this i like the white and the black i think the gold makes it a lot more not a lot more better. I think the gold makes it better. A lot more better. Okay. <laughs> yeah, but I think this is a, a very nice shoe. Leather quality. Um, standard. I mean, it's nothing to blow you away, but pretty decent. Uh, snakeskin leather, like I said, pretty decent leather. Nothing uh, to write home to mom about, but a decent shoe. Now, we're going to get into comparisons. The, let me see, uh, your picture. The taxis are black and white as well, but on the taxis, and I will be throwing pictures up here, uh, on the ta original, on the, I guess, taxis, this uh, gold part right here is black, and the carbon fiber that's gray and black here is black and yellow. The jump man is red, and the little two three white two three is yellow on the taxis. And then on the rear end, this pull tab where it's white is yellow. The jump man is red. The two three is red, and it looks like I can't quite see in the pictures. Yeah, the uh, marking here is in black, and then the lettering is in white. The little phrase which reads quality inspired by the greatest player ever. 
So as I said, thank you, mama. These shoes are very similar to the taxis. So I really like the taxis. I thought it was a very good shoe. Definitely worth 190 bucks. Um, they did sell out rather quickly. I did see some GS sizes and a few sizes were popping up here and there. Uh, I believe they made quite a few, so it shouldn't be an issue picking the shoe up. Uh, for the resellers, price I saw $225, $240, somewhere in there. So that's still a good, pretty good price. So I don't know if they're ever going to redo the taxis. I hope they do because I'd love to have a pair. But if not, this is pretty damn close to what you missed out on. So I do like these quite a bit. Uh, what number are you going to give it, Mama? Mm. Seven. Uh, seven. I'm going to go. I'm going to go eight on these. Jaden, what do you got? Probably a nine. I actually really like those. Nine. Money really likes them, and like I said, these black laces got to go. Do you agree? I like you, the black laces. Really? I don't think the white will look good. It's too much white on the shoe as it is. Huh. Well. I'm going to have to try one and the other, and one and the other, of course, to check and see. But I kind of think the white, may, I don't know. I had to try it out and see. But uh, like I said, not a bad shoe at all for the 190 price tag. Um, we do have the Jordan 1 Bordeaux is dropping this weekend. So we're going to try to get our hands on one of those to get a video out to you. Um, I don't know of anything else. In November, but December, I, like I said again, is going to be a monster as far as shoes coming out. As long as things aren't pushed back, because a lot of shoes are getting pushed back further and further due to, I guess, COVID. And I don't know what's going on, but they're pushing back releases left and right. And we still got a few things here to go over. So we will do that in the next couple of days. So again, Jordan 12, Royalty, Royalty Taxi, whatever you want to call it, Dope Shoe. You need to go pick it up if you haven't done so already. And as we say here on the Dope Pair, if you dig it, buy it. And we will catch you in the next video. Peace. Peace.